and today is a very 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 special stream today today i am going to be streaming battle for the grid power rangers battle for the grid very excited to, to stream this i redownloaded this game for this monumental day i stream i'm streaming this because i am later on today i am going to be meeting us to say john the original the original uh the original Red Ranger for Mighty Morphin. Today I'm gonna be meeting him real life in North Wizard Comics here in Hialeah, Florida. I am very excited to get some footage of him in this game and get my hype up ready for to meet him. I'm gonna get a picture taken with him. I will post that on my Instagram. It's Dope Superman underscore 18. But yeah, I'm very excited to Yeah. I I do want to let you guys know that in my other channel, The Creator, I will be making a video. I decided not to do a, a live stream for it, so I, I'm going to get the moments that I need and then run with them and then make a video on that channel so you guys can re see, can you guys can see what goes on tonight when I meet Austin Chain John. Very excited. It's morphing time today and I'm a huge Power Ranger fan and I'm very happy to, to get this thing going. So let's get this started. I've been a huge Power Ranger fan for as long as I can remember, but yeah, I am I am super excited today to meet the original Red Ranger, so let's talk um, Power Rangers here for a second. Uh, so I have met three Power Rangers, well, two Power Ranger Doctors, third one is today on St. John like I told you, uh, it's gonna happen at 7, but um, but yeah, uh, I did I did meet Tommy, the Green Ranger, slash White Ranger, slash Red Ranger, slash Black Ranger, and White, yeah, and so forth. But I met just Jason Zebra Frank, uh, okay, so Billy, the Blue Ranger, uh, the original Blue Ranger, Lily, I met him at 2017, Florida Supercon Retro. For Tommy, I met him at Florida Supercon 2019, last year. And I'm so excited to meet Austin St. John in 2020. That's something that I'm looking forward to. Cannot wait to give you guys a video on my other channel, The Creator. Link is in my bio of my on my Instagram page. It is Don't Superman underscore 18. You guys want to check that out? Give me a like, follow. Really cool stuff that I talk about there. So I do play Power Rangers like a Seed Wars. That's also a really amazing game. I like the fact that they bring a lot of characters from that Power Rangers series, and they also have Free Fighter, which I'm hoping that they implement in this game. That's something that I'm hoping they can. They really need to focus on adding more characters in this game, like something like Black Ranger Tommy or White Ranger Dino Thunder. I don't know, just a couple of other cool characters that can implement in this game. A Power Rangers Legacy Wars is a mobile game. It's on Apple and 
Android and stuff like that, but it's really fun. If if you're powering your spin, I really recommend that you check it out. Because it is it is very fun. So uh, so there is a YouTube channel I wanna kind of uh two YouTube channels I kinda wanna shout out today. Related to Power Rangers, so obviously I want the official Power Rangers YouTube channel. That's like, kind of obvious, but no. There is a YouTuber I recommend you guys watch. It's um, Chris Katata Force. He does Power Rangers uh, YouTube videos. That is actually pretty, pretty, pretty freaking cool. There's like a bunch of people with cosplay and they morph and they do really cool. Then he also connects Power Rangers with other media, with like Game of Thrones and that Avengers and. Marvel and DC and then you know Batman showed up in one video and then Ant Man showed up in another and then Captain America and yeah so on so forth so uh, check him out please you know check him out I really recommend that you do that he's a Philippine but be aware he is a Philippines uh, thing not that it's a problem but like he, you know when he makes the videos you kind of need to re realize that he's in the Philippines time so when he makes a video it is kind of different from normal. So just be aware in the US. Uh, also, if check out, also check out the channel K Wing Let's Play. They do power. They do uh, gaming videos, but they also do. They they played this game, and they also played. Uh, they also played Power Rangers Legacy Wars. So if you're a Power Rangers fan, wanna kind of check that out. And I did say this one uh, that I had one, but I had one more, and it's uh, Bat and the Sun. They had two uh, Power Rangers Super Power Beatdowns. They should do more, but the original uh, Jason David Frank appeared now in, in those two episodes, so that's cool. And Gia, the yellow, my uh, the yellow Mega Force Ranger, appeared in the crossover with the that they made based on Legacy Wars. It's a Street Fighter and the uh, Power Rangers thing that they did based on based on that that, that game Power Rangers Legacy Wars that I was talking about. From the game. So yeah, those are the three. I really recommend you guys to watch that if you're a real big Power Rangers fan like me. So yeah. My ass whooped. I just want to point out. I'm not usually like this because I'm usually like ball with ball or ass with, with freaking Jason, but I'm just off today. So, so we're talking about Power Rangers here. My we're talking about Power Ranger stuff here, and my favorite Power Rangers. Uh, Two, character one, is obviously gotta be Tommy Oliver. He's just uh, a really cool character, and he's rose for popular. So let me let me just tell you this: Jason, which makes him a really good Red Ranger, is Tommy was popular, but he didn't stop. Jason started fading a little bit, but he was still really cool. He's still cool and awesome. I'm gonna meet him. Today, so that's very cool. But. What makes Tommy good is that Rocky, no, not saying he's a bad Red Ranger, he's awesome. I love Tommy. Or, uh, I love the Rocky, actually, a lot. So, don't, nothing nothing against Steve, Steve Kern, Kerdanis or whatever his name is, but I love Rocky, but it's still to show you how, so most of the, most of the team consists of a Red Ranger. Those Red Rangers are the prominent leader of the team. When Rocky came in, he wasn't really the real leader. He was more of a a secondary leader. Because you got Tommy, the White Ranger at the time, is as a freaking leader. Like that's what made him that's what's really good. Like he rose from popularity and they saw that and they put him right in the front. They didn't wait a second. They put him over the freaking Red Ranger. That's usually not a thing. But I do like how he eventually comes an actual Red Ranger and a leader of a team. And also, I like how he comes back but leaves 
leaves the newer generation to stand in the front while he's just the background six ranger uh, as the black one in Thund Dino Thunder. I like uh, the Red Ranger in Dino Thunder. I forgot his name. I'm not really sure what his name is. But, um, but he, yeah, like I said, he's a, such an amazing Red Ranger. I think he's just awesome. Probably the original. So, my experiences with meeting actors, talking to actors. So, I met, I met Billy, uh, David Yost. That was my first actor that I met in real life. And it was a big moment because I was excited that I had to meet somebody famous for the first time. It was a moment I'll never forget because it is, it is, uh, an experience you kind of want to have meeting an actor the first time it's something that you're you're gonna remember because it's fun it's very fun i know it may be expensive but it is worth it if you're meeting someone that you really love from any fandom that you are interested in so yeah meeting so uh i have been to uh i've been going three years in a row i couldn't go because of covid this year but I probably would have gone and met some more Power Rangers actors. I do want to meet Jason uh, Font. He's a uh, Time Force Red Ranger, so that's something on my list. Be, be sure to be, be, be sure to stay tuned. I'm, I might meet him one of these things. I don't even know. But uh, yeah. So uh, information. Um, when I met Tommy, I waited in an line for two hours, and it was. Just the most worst thing I've I could say I've done. So you're you're waiting in the line one hour for the guy because he's running late, and the other hour because the line is so big and a lot of people were in it. I posted a picture of me in the background. That's Jason Neighbor playing how she took the picture, and I showed up in the back, which is really cool. But like I like. Waiting for a long, waiting, you, you know, like if you really like the actor and you really, and you really want to, uh, and you really want to meet this actor, you know, waiting in line for so long, waiting in so long, line in so long, it's worth it, you know, how many chances, you know, do you think this actor would actually come back, give you a chance to actually meet him, this is a one opportunity, you pay all this money to get in, you might as well, if he's, if he's running a little late, you might as well wait. Because it's honestly worth it. It's an experience to meet people that you like. This is why I like Comic Con, you know, specifically the, the more generalized ones, one for everyone. Those I like a lot because it's so, it brings together a group of fandoms that love the art of just geek like me. And go in to like whatever you like. You go watch Power Rangers. You go meet Power Rangers. You, you go no ask. You go meet an anime actor. It's just for everyone. It goes around the range. Superheroes to, to comics, writers, to whatever you like. The artists, the, the authors, the authors like the go Goosebumps guy was gonna come on this year, but then COVID happened. But just the range of anything go, goes on. It's, for everyone, it is for everyone. And if you're not meeting the actor, you could just go and have a good time. That's just an amazing. And the fact that you can cosplay, that's just my favorite. I am very intrigued by the cosplay. I've always wanted to actually try to do the contest, but I don't have one for it. So I'm looking to do that one time in years. But I did cosplay last year as Robin. I got it off Park City, not gonna lie. About that, so I was very happy to meet Jake David Frank. It was, it was such an honor to meet him. He didn't let me hold any of the, uh, he didn't ask for me to hold any of the uh, materials, like maybe a helmet of his or something, which was kind of a bummer, but it's whatever. It was still pretty worth it. The picture is in my chat, the picture is in my uh, Instagram page, so if you guys want to check that out, again, go Superman underscore 18 out there. Um, so yeah. Oh, oh, 
And if you do follow me, please let me know, like, that you are from, that you are one of the people that saw me on my stream. So I know who you are too. I don't think it's like a spam or whatever. So I don't like spam in my in my feed. So if you're not a spam, just let me know that you watch. You got my Instagram from my live stream. So DM me before before adding me down as a friend. Just wanna clarify that out. Because if you don't, I will take you out. I don't know who you are. I don't want anything. Nothing personal, it's just I don't want spams and I don't want stuff to be going on. This is an underrated game. Underrated game. I think I love this game. I love this game. And more specifically because I'm a Power Rangers fan. I know much people don't really play this game, but... So I got this game back in, like, what, 2018? When I were, when I, you know, went on a vacation to my mom's house in Tampa, and I, I did some, I did some summer job work with, uh, my stepdad, Adrian, thank you a lot for that, for helping me out on that, but, uh, I got some money and I bought some game, I just, like I said, I might use Power Rangers fan at heart, Sword on for life. I uh, actually, uh, just so you guys know, Zordon will also be at Thor Toys and Comics today, but I will not be wasting the, the money. I have, I have prior commitments on spending my money on Jason, right there. The, Jason the Red Ranger, which is possibly done. Fire. Still love, still love Zordon though. When I get the chance to meet him, I will. When I get another chance to meet him, I, I, I will for will meet him. But, but I want to kind of get all the rangers and a picture with them. The way I can, I put it in like a frame. For safe. I want to get it like in a frame. So that like, you know, I met the whole crew. I, so I met Bailey and then... I know I won't be able to meet the yellow ranger because she died. But yeah, there's that. You know, like... The most that I can, I want to have it in them. And I think. And then get like a picture of all of them, how they look now. And then be like, look, I'm just me meeting them on the bottom. This is them who I met. That's, my, that's just future plans. But for now, I'm just going to have a good time and meet this actor. Awesome thing done, and it's going to be such a great, great thing. This game kind of gets typical at some points of the game, so... I love talking Power Rangers with you guys. This is something that I enjoyed a lot in, so... Yeah. So my favorite Red Ranger. So I, for one, for me, a Red Ranger needs to be a leader, needs to be a standard. There's requirements of me uh, to be the best. And I, I, like I said before, the thing that Steven Cartan, whatever his name is, I love Roxy a lot. He's not a bad character. I, I don't. I, I actually love the my Marvel movie. I, I really love it. Turbo the movie, not really much, but. I really love the 2017 one and the original Mighty Morphin the movie. Love that one a lot. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Something's coming up and it's let's not stop away. And it's one of my favorite songs in that song. No, that soundtrack. But uh, but uh, as I was saying, so a Red Ranger. So my favorite Red Ranger, and there's a lot, but I'm gonna go with the guy I'm meeting today, Austin St. John. Bixby's one of the most. Real, real leaders of a team. And he's also the guy who started it all for all the other future Red Rangers that come after him. So he paved the way for all the Red Rangers. And he is the standard of how a Red Ranger should be. So I think he's the best. We're talking about favorite Blue Rangers. Now there's a lot. Billy is used to my favorite Blue Ranger. And I'm going to say this for one. I do like Billy, I, I do like David Yo. I met him, I met him, 
and I think he's an amazing person. I think nothing against him, but I think my favorite Blue Ranger. There's a lot of Blue Rangers. Like Thunder Thunder has a good Blue Ranger. Uh, Time Force has also a good Blue Ranger. But I'm gonna go with a Blue Ranger from Samurai Kevin. That's my favorite Blue Ranger. Blue Ranger. I think I really love Samurai a lot. I think that's a very underrated show that most people do not get too much credit and love to. I think they should. I think they should put more love to that name. So that there's that. So that's all right. So we did we did blue and we did red. So let's talk yellow rangers. So there is a lot of yellow Ring rangers. Rest in peace to the yellow Ring ranger that died in in my for my morphin. She's no longer with us in this world, but there's that. But uh. Maybe Yellow Ranger. Samurai is, one, is good too, but no. I think the best Yellow Red Ra Yellow Ranger. I don't know why I can say that. Yellow Ranger. Best Yellow Ranger is Gia from Mega Force. And I know a bunch of people are gonna be like, Oh my God! My God! Oh, oh. Trini is, is awesome. It's really, really awesome. But I. The reason why I took Gia is because not only is she good in the show, she's good off the show. The amazing work she does outside, and this is most of the actor that's making that character great. Not only is she great in the show, but she is great off the show where she's playing this Gia character out in other media, like Power Rangers, like I said, Wars, she you know, voiced her character there. She voiced her character in this game as well. She voiced, she also was in Bat in the Sun. You know, video that she uh, did. So there's that. Um, another thing, uh, another thing we told uh, about her is that she's just she's all about the fans. She will do all that it will take for a fan to be happy. That's exactly how I. Like it. So I think my favorite yellow red ranger is Gia. So favorite red ranger, Austin John. Favorite. Pair Blue Ranger Samurai. And then we got Gia, the best yellow Ranger. This is where the game starts getting hard because Goldar is just annoying. On Sentry, that's on Sentry is pretty hard too. So, let's move on to the list. And then we're gonna do the Pink Rangers. I have to shout out Catherine. I have to shout out Mew. I have to shout out a lot, a lot of awesome yellow, uh, awesome Pink Red Rangers. Kimberly is another one. Catherine, Mia, Kimberly. Uh, I, I, I think I, I have a crush on Kimberly. Like who didn't? And Catherine too. So who didn't have a crush on them? But, but that's not the point. We're talking about Pink Rangers and the best. And one that is the best. She was even a leader at one point before the Red Ranger had stepped in. They found their, another Red Ranger to fill the shoes with the same DNA to be the Red Ranger. And she was once a, a, the leader of, at one point. It's Time Force Red, Jenna. Uh, I think that's her name. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But like, yeah, the Time Force Pink Ranger is... Ah! Well, okay. So the Time Force Pink Ranger is the best Pink Ranger in all of the Power Rangers. And more for so feet, just look back, just search it up. She's been a countless leader, even when Jason Font, you know, like, the story, like, you watch, she was, you watch that show again, and you watch the lore of it, you just know that she was the leader at one point in, and she has leader skills to be at the top, and that's why she makes Herself the best pink ranger. On my mark. Oh, that's gay. Come on. Okay. Best black ranger. Best black ranger. We have to shout out some people from like Mega Force and Mighty Morphin Zach. Awesome. And then Noah. Our no. Noah is touring. Sorry, but 
I don't remember. I don't remember the uh, the Black Ranger and Mega. But yeah, those are just really good uh, Power Rangers, uh, Black Rangers. But you already know I'm gonna choose the Black Rangers from Dino Thunder, and it's gonna be Jason David. So we're going with that. So Jason David Frank takes the spot for that one again. Okay, so. We did red, we did yellow, we did pink, we did blue. So do my blue. So let's do my favorite Green Ranger. You already know Jason Dipper Frank. Same thing goes for the white. For the gold. Here's a for gold. Oh well. When it comes to white, it's either between Dino Thunder, which I really like. Shout him out before I continue the next color. I forgot to mention that. But I really like, I really like Jason, David, you already know that, so we're going with him, but, let's, let's talk, I, well, we're talking now gold, which is actually a difficult one, a really difficult one for me, gold, we, let's talk about honorable mentions before I reveal who is the best gold ranger, the best gold ranger is not revealed yet, but just, just so you know, honorable mention is going to be, Samurai, who doesn't like the Samurai Gold Ranger? Samurai Gold Ranger is amazing. And then Gold Ranger is from like Mega Force and Dino Charge and yeah, just stuff like that. They're all just cool. So, there, so, so there's that. But the best Gold Ranger has to be the option, say, John, again, from Zeo, Power Ranger Zeo, which is such a great cut. Which is such a great costume, nonetheless. Which is so, so yeah. So yeah, there's that. You can tell I'm really a big power ranger. So you guys watching this? Can you stop doing that little thing? That's just very annoying. Dragon Zord. And then the last but not least will be what's the best Megazord out there? There's a lot of good Megazords, but I think I'm gonna go with the classic the Mighty Morphin. I think that's the best. Just simple as that. The original one, the beginner's one, the one they use at the beginning, it's the best, it's better than the Thunder, Thunder Swords that they use uh, after that. Just stick with the original, that's the best thing I've ever had out They use that way too much, they spam too much. I win finally. I give this game more or less like a seven. It's all a seven. Not not bad, Chevy, for a game for me. Uh, as a Power Rangers fan, I recommend this game. Uh, yeah. Let me get this down. Masculine on Sentry is in this game are very annoying. Come 
Oh, cool. Of course. Of course. I love how this game implements characters from the freaking comics of the Power Rangers lore. That's very uh, exciting to actually get to play characters that are not even from the show nor in our movies. So it's pretty cool to see them. Um, I will do all that is necessary.
Lord Dracid, which is evil talking. I always after that I always after that I went there fifty seven girls. Out of my way. Excuse me, sir. Out of my way. Get out of my face. Get out of my head. Get out of my little Out of my head. Arcade room.
So there you go, everyone. I just beat the freaking, uh, freaking, okay. With Jason, Tommy, and Trey for you. I bottled that last round. Didn't even let Lord Drag get it. Get a life. Alright guys, thank you for watching my really small stream. I just wanted to get this out. I wanted to you guys have the content. I came and now I left, but I am here to end this stream. Well, hope you guys enjoyed talking Power Rangers with me. I will give you guys a exclusive video on my other channel, The Creator. Please go check that out. It, it's in my bio of my Instagram page, Dope Superman underscore 18, where we will get to see my moments meaning as the St. John the Red Ranger. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and sayonara. Hasta luego.